Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I do want to apologize to you guys and let you guys know. Um, yes, we are aware that we're a bit behind on our readings. I apologize. There is a lot of changes that are happening right now on my personal, uh, on the side of my personal life, as well as uh, just being extremely busy. A lot of new uh, projects that we're working on which I will be announcing as we progress and get closer to that. Also, I do want to let you guys know that I am going to be working on the series that we had spoke about in regards to uh, tarot interpretation. So you, you guys definitely uh, stay tuned for that on my channel. Anyways, let's get into your reading Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading Virgo. Your first card here is the Queen of Pentacles. Very, very grounded. This is your energy. Very empowered. They're speaking to me something about loyalty um, is what I'm hearing. For a lot of you guys, I feel that the month of August is really going to open your eyes um, in regards to those around you, in regards to their loyalty with you. Um not sure if you guys are currently going through a situation where you're kind of doubting or questioning or wondering someone's motive in particular, but they are definitely telling me that the month of August, I want to say um, the from now all the way to the end of August, there's going to be some type of revelation um, and really knowing and kind of opening your eyes to uh, those around you. I see for a lot of you guys, your circle getting smaller. Um, this is, you know, family, relatives, loved ones, people that you trust, that you choose to be around. I definitely see them, uh, that circle getting smaller and smaller. Uh, the positive in this is that you are surrounding or you're beginning to surround yourself with only those uh, that are loyal to you, Virgo, and those that inspire you those that will applaud you and be glad for your growth uh versus you know being spiteful or making underhanded comments is definitely what i'm hearing you may be dealing with someone that is that type of energy where anything you go to them or they find out that you're doing they're always giving like backhanded compliments um and what they're saying here is, you know, the facade or those that are not genuine or authentic with the with their intentions with you are definitely going to be showing you their true colors. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Now, your next card here is the Knight of Wands. Um, you need to be more assertive, Virgo, and you need to be more taking action. There is almost like... Um, they're telling you that you need to be more fast in either like when there's opportunities that arise, you need to take quick action. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate is what I'm hearing. Um, you also have here the strength card. So this is in the past and passing situation um, or energy. And with the strength card, I feel that you definitely have gone through a major transition for some of you guys they're showing me a butterfly uh, so there is definitely a transformation that has happened or that you are currently still on that path of transformation of change um and just dealing with the everyday uh, type of energy the 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 everyday routine um there are certain things that are going to be needing your attention um I feel that for some of you guys, you, you you may feel a little bit overwhelmed or even annoyed um, that it's disrupting your routine. Um, but what they're telling you is that right now it's a time to take action and take opportunities that may arise um, because this is going to help you. Uh, this is going to bring to you new opportunities and open uh, doors of, you know, opportunities that you never thought would be there or would open up for you so again stop self-doubting yourself too much virgo next card here is the full card like i said transformation is something that they indicated this is you taking on a new journey a new chapter a new beginning 
this is walking towards a new a new a new right <laughs> they keep saying a new um so what this is indicating to me is again i feel that a lot of the things that you were aware or accustomed to are quickly coming to a change and it's helping you because it's making you more worldly whether it's meeting people that are you know from different cultures different um backgrounds it's it's making you more more of a well-rounded person virgo and i feel that a lot of new experiences and these changes that are coming in are coming in due to uh this this new energy of awareness that is unfolding in your life again they keep telling me uh there's going to be people that come towards you that are of different backgrounds different beliefs different i feel that your mind is expanding um and and it has a lot to do with new experiences and being able to see things from a very different perspective for some of you guys it could be that you know as an example you've never really been much of a traveler and you know from now i want to say all the way to october there's going to be a desire or a need within you to kind of try things try something new go to different cities go to different restaurants um go to just different there's almost like a, a something within you that is kind of pushing you to try new things and this is your soul's need for expansion so again uh definitely don't procrastinate don't limit yourself put yourself out there i feel that this is going to be for the betterment of you at the present time now, you also do have here the Six of Swords, so definitely wanting to walk towards something more stable, something more finding stability in your life. Uh, this is you going towards calmer waters. And again, like I said, I feel that a lot of like, there's there's almost the feeling of like not being extremely balanced or feeling like you're being pulled towards two different directions. But what they're telling you is so long as you follow your passions and your desires, uh, this these new beginnings and this new journey that you're setting out is going to be very fulfilling for you Virgo um, just make sure that you're following your passions and your desires things that you're very things that you know vibrate to your soul that really motivates you things that you know just reignite your energy and make you feel more empowered um, that's going to be the key here now, you also do have the Emperor card here. The Emperor could represent um, an Aries person in your life. For others of you, it could just represent uh, getting to a point of knowing your power and understanding that um, you are much more powerful or capable than what you give yourself credit for. Uh, the Emperor is all about structure, right? It's all about... Um, you know working very hard and putting effort and energy because you know you will accomplish because you know you will overcome um so again it's it's getting in that mentality that is going to help you and propel you uh towards a better future you can also see here the emperor holding um a gold globe almost like the world is in your hands and it really is for go what they're telling you here is you have to believe more in yourself and take action stop procrastinating is is the main energy here you also have here the nine of pentacles a lot of financial stability financial growth for some of you guys this could even indicate um entrepreneurship this is starting your own business or um making something that you're passionate about that starts to become um a career it starts to become people start to pay you for rendered services this is like really uh really honing into your passion that can potentially turn into something that you it gives you the financial freedom that you've been looking for now you also have here the four of swords so the four of swords is grounding yourself grounding yourself in the sense of grounding your goals and aspirations don't be quick and hasty here with the fool as well don't be quick and hasty uh when we're talking about investments when we're talking about 
risky, uh, risky moves. What they're telling you is really think about it before making major decisions when it comes to your finances and when it comes to, um, you know, investments is what they're telling you. Really get the feedback or the information that you need before making a decision in regards to anything that has to do with your finances. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Cups. So this is, you know, the Seven of Cups could represent confusion or having a lot of options. But more, more than anything, what they're telling me here with the Seven of Cups is that it is up to you to decide the opportunities that you choose to take on. Um, Seven of Cups is always having um, a multitude of options. And the options are limitless for you. What they are telling you, however, is that if you follow your passion or what you're excited about or um, really what you love doing, anything, whether it's, you know, um, I don't know, running, whether it's taking a course um, of acting, whether it's um, whatever it is that inspires you, whatever it is that gets the ball rolling for you that you're really passionate about and you're naturally good at, always choose the options that lead you to those passions because ultimately that's where success lies. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when people see their job, you know, the nine to five job, obviously they're not passionate about it, it's just to pay their responsibilities, to take care of business, that type of thing. Um, it's very different than a person that you that you know is doing what they're passionate about, what they really love doing. They're never going to see it as a job. They're going to see it as something that is, you know, something that comes within, within them that they're very natural at. Um, and that's where success comes from. Success will always come through following your passions. So again, follow your passions for a go. Don't be risky um, or don't take risky moves when we're talking about finances unless you know or unless you gather your information um, there is such a thing as uh, being cautious when taking um, risky moves sometimes the risky moves pay out but uh, or pay off but um, just be wise about it you know do do your research uh, don't go jumping into making a major investment that you know nothing about and later on you take a loss you know so again very important do not procrastinate be more confident in yourself there is a multitude of options that are going to be unfolding for you follow your passions beautiful reading Virgo. i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon bye